I know, I know, it's hard just to believe, but you can make a movie truly frightening and it's not feature any jump scares. Not one. A good example is... <laughs> the Woman in Black. The 1989 original classic. Yeah, I bet you didn't know there was an 80s movie too. In fact, this was based off a book, I believe. I could have bought it and read it and reviewed it, but I was running short on time, I'm afraid. Speaking of being afraid, yikes, this movie is effective. Welcome to day four of my Scare Show 3, titled Brash Bodies. Let us begin. The plot. Arthur Kidd travels to a remote town where he must sort through a deceased woman's artifacts. There he finds something so terrifying that it is covered up to keep the town's folk safe and their children as well. I actually found it kind of funny that Arthur kept on calling himself a solicitor, because now we associate solicitors today as people we choose to ignore. It gives the film a vintage feel, like it's actually taking place in the 1800s. The eel marsh house as well as the marsh itself are very effective. Other things that are effective are a few scares that aren't jump scares, they're just creepy. There's one in particular that I know creeped anyone out who saw this as a kid. It also makes it seem like the end of the movie, but it keeps on going and it gets more and more creepy as it goes along. Long. This movie is just straight up creepy. There's nothing disturbing about it. There's no violence, gore, or crazy effects. It is simply it's incredibly effective at making you feel uneasy. There are a lot of similarities between this and the remake, and I found that I appreciated the remake even more after seeing this. Yeah, I saw the remake first. Sue me! The musical score, very chilling and fits the movie perfectly. The acting, everyone does a stellar job and is very believable. You can see Arthur Kidd go more into more insane thanks to the awesome performance by Adrian Rollins, who also has a role in The Woman in Black 2, Angel of Death. While The Woman in Black is a creepy movie, I still wish that the titular Woman in Black had more screen time. However, I was surprised by how much we did get. The final shot of her in the movie is downright spooky, and the end will either make you laugh because of this damned day and age we are in, where it is hard for youngsters to get invested in sophisticated movies, or it'll leave your jaw agape like it did for me. This is a solid, creepy movie, a slow burn but engaging. Overall, I give The Woman in Black, the 1989 class, a 4 out of 5. Definitely one of the most chilling ghost stories ever told. Lion Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Movie Reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below to leave comments and subscribe.